Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Wills of Love and Loving. I'm back with truth, bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for somebody else. It's a collective reading on first reading. If you're guiding to my channel, there could be some truth, clarity, confirmation you're looking for. Also, this is a personal reading, not a collective reading. Personal reading, not a collective reading. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. I would not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys, but for the most high. So thank you so much. If you're new, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified. Also, thank you for all the donations, the super thanks, booking readings with me, purchasing products with me. Thank you, thank you so much. I do want to say something too. If I, uh, if you book a reading with me, I do try to get them done within 24 to 48 hours. Sometimes it exceeds to 72 because I have a child. I have two children, a little toddler and, and a teenager. So I have those responsibilities too. And I do also try to get my YouTube videos. I try to put at least two, three videos out a day on YouTube. And so I try to schedule them in. But you will receive your reading within 72 hours for sure, okay? I do like to get it done as soon as possible. But I do have to get my other duties done, my responsibilities done um, around here as well. On my Etsy store and all that stuff. So I just want you to know that. So I am, I'm very good about getting them done within 24 hours. But it can take up to 72, okay? Uh... If you'd like to join the True Seeking members, it's $3.99 per month. The bonus you get this one free question. There is the newest member on my True Seeking members. Um, let me see your name again. I think it's Intuit or something. Hold on. I just want to make sure because please email me if you want one free question, okay? You get one free question for joining the True Seeking members. So, let me see. The newest member, True Seeker, Intuitive Violet Flame. Okay, I spelled it wrong. Sorry, Violet, Violet Flame. I gotta fix this book. I'm missing the E there. You are able to receive uh, one free email, one free question from me, okay? Because you're joining the True Seeker members. Um, why isn't it let me fixing it? If you have not yet joined and you want to join, it's uh, you can click on my profile picture. It's three ninety nine, and then like you do receive one free question. I have a special going on for the month of March. $25.25 for 15 to 20 minute pre-recorded video. Also, I have 15% off free shipping and handling. And the newest special I have is if you purchase $50 of product or more, you get a 10 minute free reading with me, okay? So, okay, thank you again, you guys. Thank you. And you guys, we're at like 16,000 subscribers. Like, what is it? Like, hmm, 16,505 subscribers. Oh, wow, no, 16,517. So, thank you. Thank you. I'm growing. You're growing. So, okay. I heard... Back the fuck up. Okay, somebody needs to back the fuck up. That's what I heard uh, before I was doing this reading. I'm like, really? I'm like, what's the channel message? And that's what I heard. I heard someone saying back the fuck up. Somebody wants somebody to back off. Get the F away. Like, they, they want them gone. Like, they're telling them to stop. Back up. Um, there could be a fight argument between uh, two people, between a family, behind a group. And also, like, and they just want them to get away. Okay? I, I, I did hear back the fuck up or I'm going to punch you in the face. Okay, because somebody's like getting in somebody's face. Somebody's like overstepping boundaries. Okay, they're in their bubble. Okay, I'm literally hearing somebody's in somebody's bubble and they just want space. They want them to like back off, like leave, leave them alone. Okay, somebody doesn't want to start a fight, but this person is pushing and pushing and pushing to start something like instigating. This other person's instigating something. If this is not a physical, this could be spiritual. Like you just want these people to leave you the hell alone. Okay, if you want them to leave you the hell alone, the best way... To do that is prayer. Prayer, 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 okay? And mindfulness. And redirect your mind, okay? Protecting yourself. Protecting yourself is prayer, okay? Asking for God to protect you from the dark forces, from the enemy, to leave you alone. Also to block your energy. So a good way, if you want them to back off, is saying, I call back my power and energy. I block any energy that I do not, like you could say their names, okay? That doesn't mean you're hurting them. You're just blocking the energy. So if you don't like somebody, here, I'm just going to give an example of a name. Um... We'll do John Doe, okay? John Doe, we're going to do John Doe. I block John Doe from my energy permanently. I block I block John Doe from my life, my community, my home, my energy, my kids permanently forever, okay? Like, whatever, however you want to word it, however you pray, however you do that, you can say that because that's what I'm hearing is I'm like, you just want them gone. You want them blocked. You want their energy because you can block them on the phone. You can block them on social media. You can, you know, block them. I, on the internet, whatever, you can hit block or ignore or whatever, hit them on red and stuff like that. But even though you block them, they can still kind of interfere in your life, okay, with your energy, okay? Because they're still attached to energy, so you need to start blocking them from your energy, okay? That's how I cut off my karma, because that's how I cut off the enemy from my life, okay? And if you want, you could also say, I block these enemies from my life. 
from my energy. I block these karmics from my energy from my life. Oh, I got to answer this. Hold on. Okay. I thought that was an emergency reading or emergency call, but it wasn't. Guess who just called? Said Tom Freedom from the police academy or police something, police something. Wow. That was crazy. I thought it was a, I thought it was a person that needed to call me back emergency. Like I, I have an important call coming through. Um, I did put it on silent, but they were, his name was Tom Freedom and it was a, the bot. Okay. It was a bot and it said from the police command academy or police corporation or something like that. So that's significant to somebody. That's something I should have just kept it on. Like guys, listen to it. Okay. So you just want the, you want them gone. Like you just, you want them out of your way. Okay. Like you just, you don't want them in your energy anymore. So we're going to dig into this, see what you need to know. Okay. This is somebody from your childhood, somebody from your past. Okay. Somebody that you could have cared about as a child or as a teenager or whatever. Just somebody from your past because you have six of cups. This is child energy. This is past energy. Okay. So yeah, you just, you want to be freed from this person. You don't want this person in your life anymore. You Or this entity, because this could be an unclean spirit as well. You're over it. Look at you're over this person from your past. We got six of cups and we got four of cups. Okay. You're over the situation. You just want them gone. You want them out of your life. Doesn't mean you like you want like you're not wishing ill on this person. You just want them off. Off your back. Okay. If you're if this is a situation where you're actually fighting with this person or this person interrogating you, instigating you, provoking you, triggering you, okay, you just want them just to leave you alone. You're over it. You you just want to be left alone. Yeah, this is a devilish energy. Fighting. There was a fight. Betrayal. You just want to rest. You want to heal. This is causing a lot of stress. You are an empress, Virgo. Okay, they had a hidden agenda. This is somebody you could have been in a partnership with, a uh, relationship with, okay? Virgo coming out here. This is causing you stress, okay? This is causing you to not be able to sleep. You just want to rest. You want to heal. You're an empress, divine feminine, embodying that. Like, see, we have the, we have the five of wands, we have the seven of swords. This is a fight argument, okay? This is a hidden agenda, sneakiness, and then the swords. Okay, what else, spirit? You've asked this person to stop many, many times. Okay, this person's interrogating you or causing some kind of fight or... I'm also hearing, like, someone may not let you leave. And, like, you just want to go. You just want to get out. You want to walk up the door. You want to shut the door closed. You want to close this door behind you and you want to move on, okay? And this person's not allowing you to. This person's trying to hold you back. Okay, what else, spirit? Thank you. This is judgment, okay? The trumpets are being blown. Libra, you went through awakening. You're awakening up to this. You don't want to play with this stuff anymore. You just don't want to. This person wasn't giving you enough, okay? Not enough. Not giving you what I want. Wow, and we have the five swords. This is sabotage. Trying to sabotage your life. Not wanting you to receive something. Okay, they're trying to keep you from something. Okay, they're trying to keep you from your rewards. Resources. Your gifts. Let me be trying to take your, your gifts away from you as well. You just want to celebrate. You want to have fun. You want to get, get out and enjoy life. Okay, sisterhood I'm hearing. Or like soul tribe. This could be you want, okay, this could be a community you could be getting away from, or a friend as well, because this is a friendship, this is a friend, so maybe you're just trying to get away from a friend community, and you just want to go out and have fun, okay? You just want to go out and celebrate. Yeah, you want to get out. Nine of Wands, getting out of a sticky situation. You've been wounded by this person. This person has wounded you. You feel like this person ain't going to change either, okay? So if this person is getting you, if you're in a relationship with this person or whatever, you feel like this person ain't going to change. You feel like this person is just going to continue to fight with you, argue with you, instigate you, provoke you, and to, like, push you on your buttons. Like, and that's why you're just like, this person's never going to change. I need to get out. 
I need to get out before I get hurt. I need to get out before something bad happens to me. This person is so involved by the devil, so possessed by the devil that you just, you, you know it's not going to get any better if you stay in this situation or this relationship. And this could be a job as well. Okay, somebody could be provoking you at a job. Okay, instigating you at a job, trying to get in your face at a job. And that's the thing is like, you just, you're just like, I don't want to do this. I'm going to walk away. Like you, you may try to do this job as well. There's something about you being innocent in a situation and somebody's blaming you for the situation, but you're innocent. You didn't know partake in it. Yeah, you just want to leave. You want your power back. Originality, okay? This is you being your original self. You don't like being around a lot of people. This other person, like this situation, there could just be a lot of people around. In a public place, social place. Okay, you being enlightened, Leo. You just want to walk away to happiness. You just want to call back your power. And be your own self. Yeah, you're walking away. You're trying to walk away from this. Okay, I'm also seeing you may have pushed this person because this person in your face, like I said, you're telling this person to back off. Instead of punching them in the face or hitting them, you, you push this person away from you just like you, you're crossing a boundary. Like this person's crossing boundaries with you. This person is pushing their limits. You like they're they're invading your bubble, invading your space. Someone if this is a job, so like at my desk here, somebody could be like going at your desk and you're just asking them to stop. Like you need to stay out of your cubicle, at her cubicle. Locker room. Okay, somebody about in locker room. Some kind of fight in locker room. Okay, you're gonna have a victory. You're gonna win over this. King of Pentacles. You kept your calm, oh, patience. Okay, you you're trying to be patient. You're trying to be calm, but this just keeps happening over and over and over and over. And they're just they pushed a the limit because this King of Pentacles is somebody that's calm. Okay, somebody that is patient, stable, reliable. Okay, and like I said, you're doing some kind of that could be like in just the dark arts, okay? But you're you're being patient and calm. You're trying. That's actually King Cups too. Stable, reliable. They're trying to like cause your structure to be like your bubble, your area like to be off like what you don't want. This could be a father, you could be a father too, or a father figure. I said fight, arguments. Seven of Wands. They may have put hands on you first, that could be two. Maybe they put hands on you first. This is some kind of partnership. Someone you had a partnership or something that you like a commitment with. Attraction, they could be attracted to you. They could be stalking you as well. Okay, that could be why. They could be stalking you. This is really, really hurting you. You are a victim. This is really bothering you. You just want to be left alone. Spiritually, metaphorically, okay. Physically, you just want to be left alone. You have strength, okay? You continue to have strength, okay? Fighting this person, like, not fighting, okay? I'm hearing you're fighting with, like, prayer, okay? In word of prayer. Asking God to protect you. Asking God to help you get away from the sticky situation. Asking God to, you know, help you walk away from this, okay? Put a stop to this. Yeah, this could be fast getting away. Okay, this is going to cause some kind of turning point. There's a patience, a balance, Sagittarius. You're trying to get a way to be happy. Okay, loving. This is also intuitive. You could have been in love with this person if this is a relationship. You could have been in love with this person. You could be just saying back the fuck off, kept card mix. Okay, dark forces. 
I, I, at one point in my life too, I just, I kept saying that too. I kept repeating over, back the fuck off, enemies, karmics, using a word, you know what I mean, like in word, like just leave me alone, leave me alone, like, you don't want to have problems, okay, you're not a person that likes to cause conflict or problems, but again, like, if somebody's getting in your face non-stop, they're getting in your face, they're irritating you, they're instigating something, you know, being combative, and like, provoking you like sometimes like there's a we have we have we have a right to protect ourselves to stand up for ourselves and somebody's gonna get in your face and they're gonna say something or they're gonna hit you you have a right to push them back you have a right to put your like you know what I, mean? I i don't i'm not for violence i'm not for violence i'm not fight for putting hands on somebody but if somebody's putting hands on you you need to protect yourself and you need to swing back you need to swing back okay that's the thing if you keep asking this person to back off you guys going to leave you alone and they don't and you tell them to stop like and you push them away like you, you like they have no right to keep crossing it over and over because they keep crossing this boundary this person does not know how to like cross boundaries let's see what cards I want You, they think it's funny games, you don't. This is a serious matter. They think it's funny games, this, you don't. What else, Barrett? This person made you not feel enough, okay? This person you thought you had some kind of passion for, you didn't. We have kiss and tell. Kisses. Somebody could be kissing and telling. You thought you had passion for this person, but you don't. Okay, somebody took a chance. Not showing who they really are. Gambling. Okay, somebody took a chance. Taking risk. What else going on here about back to F off? The reason comes from abundance because you ended the situation Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Okay. No second chances. You want, you want to walk away. They keep trying to seduce you. Okay, this could be wild. This could be some kind of sexual assault too. Okay, somebody could have sexually assaulted you. Some kind of seduction. Try to keep you stuck. Okay, trying to trap you. And like holding you down. And like you told them no. Okay, I'm here and you said no. You told them no. And they kept forcing them. Okay, so somebody about forcing themselves on you. And you kept telling them no. No, no, no. And you said back the fuck off. So, if you were, if there was some kind of sexual assault here, and this person tried to, you know, rape you, you may have pushed this person off, you may have hit this person off, you have a right to protect yourself. I'm sorry, woman or man, you have a right to, I'm, if somebody was doing that to me, you have a right to backhand them. They're violating you by holding you down, trying to take, you know, take over your body, violate you. And I, you know, when we talk about being with God and worshiping God and devoted to God, God's not going to allow us to be hurt. Okay, like that. Okay, so if you need to protect yourself and you're being sexually violated and you need to hit this person to get off of you, then you hit this person to get off of you and pray and pray and pray, and pray. Keep praying. You know, one thing I used to tell people, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something. People used to get on my case, or people used to like gaslight me, gang sack me. Okay, I literally would scare the shit out of people. By talking about stuff that they thought I was mentally ill. Okay? I literally played the game so well, strategized, that these people thought I was so freaking crazy. They thought I was need to be locked up that they actually were scared of me. Because everyone's telling me, like, in a as past time, you guys, people told me, oh, well, you're, you're going to get messed up with the wrong person and stuff. I'm like, just start talking crazy. Start talking like you're schizophrenic. Start talking about there's people around. There's monsters around. Just start talking crazy. You know how many times people try to rob me? And I just started talking crazy. They they walked away. They literally walked away. Like they're like this shit. This girl's crazy. I I'm done. I'm done. So many times I just started talking like crazy stuff. I started talking about God, angels, demons, and stuff. And these these people are like okay, this person's uh, whack job. So then they walked away. Like just pray, 
make yourself look a little bit crazy if you want, you know what I mean, like to get this person off of you. They most likely, sometimes these people, if they think you're crazy, they don't even want nothing to do with you. Okay, some people will still try to attack you, okay? I'm not going to say they won't. Especially if they're really, really trying to, you know, get what they want. Okay, but I sometimes start talking crazy. Make yourself look insane, mentally insane. They don't want to be around then. They want to be around then. They have, they have other things to do. Go with other people. Girl talk, like, like I said, just talking. Okay? Happily single. Okay, you want to have fun. You just want to move on. They weren't my family members. Some of them thought I need to go to general psych ward. But I intentionally just started talking crazy just to let them leave me alone. Do I want these ones? Okay, this person that was fighting with you, they were born to destroy you. Cause problems in your life. Complications. Let's get a couple here. Thank you. Okay, separation is killing this person. You may be separated from somebody. Okay, this is killing them because you separated. You walked away from them. Now it's bothering them. They can't live without you. That's what they're saying. You're just doing fine. So maybe you got you. Maybe you did get away. I will get you my pretty. Somebody's like trying to come at you. This evil witch, dark witch. One more. Someone's trying to buy your love. Somebody could try and buy your love and then they're assaulting you. I read what I see, not what I feel. So, so you see something. Okay, you see something. You just want to get away from this. Let's go here. Look at some names. Just a second. Twenty two, twenty two in the clock. Telepathy, you may be hearing telepath messages. This person is stalking you, that could be why you're saying get away from me. Okay, you are protected. Protected Cussy. You are being protected, okay, by the most high. You are being protected by the most high. You may just want to silent treat them, ghost them, cut them off, block their energy, like I said. There's that sex the sex. Somebody could maybe, like I said, sexually assaulted you. This could be a father you're asking to back off. You relocated, you get away. Somebody was lying to you. It's all about lies. This could be a friend that you're telling to back off. They're upset with you, they won't leave you alone. The stalking, obsessed in your business. Too much in your life, wanting to know too much. This could be a distant relative you got in an argument, a fight with at like a family gathering, a reunion. And somebody who's naive. Okay. You could be a little bit naive as well. And look at we have. It's, it's all clinging. And bully. This person's a bully. Okay. Bully. And I see clinging too. Maybe you need to kick this person out too. There's a clinging card. I'm clingy. Trying to cling to energy. Okay. Maybe that's why they're mad. Because you kicked him out. Get some names on here. Pick 20. Okay, we have Penske coming out. Penske, fairy. Someone could be taking a fairy. Taking a trip on a fairy. I've been in a fairy before when I was in California. I went with my mom, my ex-husband, Luis. 
my daughter Carmelita and my brother Dana and we took a ferry over to Catalina Island. It was really pretty. So you could be taking a ferry. Okay. When sending it back to sender, it's going back to source. Okay. So if anyone's sending you an evil eye, um, sending you negative energy, I call back my energy. I take back my power energy. Any evil I send to me, send back to source. Okay. Brian. Area 51, Nevada military base. Cali. Okay. That's weird. I just said Cali and Cali came out. Radioactive, Goalie, Kingston, Rolex. I mean, they have a Rolex. Somebody could have got hit by a Rolex. Like, you know what I mean? Like a Rolex watch. Like, it got hit. Like, there's a mark or something on them. Uranus, Rayleigh, Theo, East, South of the Border, Harvey, Jet Ski. Someone could be out in the water, by the water. Jet Ski, Kesha, Winona. 33, Stella, Leo, Dreezy, cover up, someone's trying to cover something up, we have Elite Dark Side, okay, so maybe you just want the Elite Dark Side to leave you alone, okay, these Elite Dark Sides are such puppets with the Dark Forces, the Archons, Archons are controlling them, the Draconians are controlling this Elite Dark Side, Jeffrey Dahmer, so we have Fairy and then we have Ferrari, Ferrari, Fairy, Drug Deal Gone Bad, Trisha, or Trisha, I said Trisha, I don't know why I said Trisha, 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 Bobby, Netherlands, Alderman, an Alderman, member of a council elected by elected members, Alderman, it's in politics, okay, politics and the government and stuff like that, uh, we have Ingrid, Beauty, Dwarf Energy, somebody's a little dwarf, okay, I'm also hearing you want these, uh, Gremlins, okay, Did, if you ever watched the little movie Gremlins, I'm hearing Gremlins or Goblins, you want them away from you, like, Goblins are somebody that's like little things that don't take care of themselves and they just like in your business and they like to cause chaos and all this stuff. And little gremlins and they're a little destructive and stuff. That's from getting the energy and the dwarf energy. Africa, Virginia. You guys, I did not see this. Go back. I did not see this. And I said, I was talking about Callie and Fairy. Fairy came out and Catalina. Wow. See, that's how I know I'm connected to the source. And I did not see this. I pulled them out. You guys can go back and rewind. I did not see this card at all. Something significant because somebody maybe live on Catalina Island or Catalina or something or somebody's named Catalina because that's really weird how that just came out. I talked about, you know, taking a ferry to Catalina or a little island and stuff and Catalina came out. Hart. Marissa. Don't give up. Clark. You won everyone over soon. They will know who you are. They'll know who you are. They'll know who you are. Maybe you need to take a trip on a little ferry. Okay? I'm here in Duluth. Doesn't Duluth have little ferries? Little lakes. Ferries. Mississippi River. Oh, people taking a ferry on the Mississippi River. New York, something about fairy in New York. Oh, fairy. Okay, also fairy to um. I know who it is. Statue of Liberty. Okay, fairy to the Statue of Liberty. Cumberland Island. Staten Island fairy schedule. Okay, so that's why. Okay, so some kind of fairy. Fort Morgan. Mississippi River, okay. Um, Red Wing, okay, on the Mississippi River. Oh, I'm also here in Louisiana Ferry, okay, because it goes down the Mississippi, comes up to Minnesota and Wisconsin, all the way down to Louisiana into the Gulf. Okay, so there's some kind of ferry, ferry ride. I'm also here in Oregon. Milwaukee Lake Express ferry launches this week. Okay, so Lake Express, Milwaukee. There's a lot, and I'm hearing ferries another way, okay? 
pull this out. Last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Okay, somebody needs to work through the feelings. Time to work through those feelings that you're feeling. This business person needs to figure out the shit on their own. If they're keeping it in their business, somebody needs to figure out the shit on their own, okay? Lightning bolt. Okay, they just keep causing trauma. Somebody needs to do that themselves, do their own work, not come after you, not keep bothering you. Okay, not keep bothering you. It will lie in your face. This person's lying in your face. Okay, fear. Fuck fear. This person's trying to cause fear in your life. Like I said, provoke you. The devil, Satan, is trying to provoke you. Cause fear in your life. Rebel. You could be a rebel. And then, because fuck it, okay? Somebody just needs to yeah, get away. They're like over it. This person thinks that they're shit too. Okay, they think they're shit. They think they're better. The shit don't stink. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in a fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. This is something that you thought was a friendship. Okay, you thought this person was a friendship. Let's grab one more of these. You consider this person a friend and they just keep crossing boundaries with you. Put your energy towards self-love. Okay, Spirit, once you put your energy towards self-love. I'm going to get Archangel Michael card because I haven't done this for a while. And I feel like somebody needs a prayer out there. Because especially if they're being attacked in like any kind of way. Spiritually, mentally, physically. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. So you've done nothing wrong. Especially if you've like kind of put your hands on somebody to protect yourself from something. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in re releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. That just came out really perfectly fine. Eternal love. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving and, press, receiving and expressing and giving love. Honor and trust your feelings, Spirit says. Angel number, pull this out. Five eleven. Change personal development. Be proactive in future and trying new things. Back out of, break out of your comfort zone and listen to what your heart is desiring. If your heart's telling you, "Desiring back off and like leave and get away from this person, get away from this job, career, whatever it is, get away." Get away. Okay? Move forward. Literally, I just keep seeing this person pushing your buttons and like just literally provoking you just over and over in front of your face. Like standing in front of your face and just like, come on, you want to hit me? You want to hit me? Come on, do it. Just do it. Just do it. And you're just like, leave me alone. Oh, what? You're too scared to hit me? You're too scared to hit me? You can't hit me? And this person's like, and you're just like, I don't fight. I just want to be left alone. Just can you please back the fuck off? Like, just leave me alone. This person just keeps going at it. Like, oh, well, you're a pussy. You're a bitch. You can't hit me. You're, you're, like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm hearing. Something on that situation. Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, and number seven. I love you. Let peace, light, heal, and number seven.